one year finishes and the other one just rolls into it, Eugene, and it's going to be as busy as ever. Yeah, yeah, but not much break, uh, to be honest. When uh, UFC Auckland got announced, uh, you know, February 23rd, you know, we have to be in training camp over Christmas, New Year's, so we just rolled straight through. We'll have a little holiday. Uh, I mean, I'll have a little break after, uh, maybe after Israel's fight, I'll go um, into the bush for a hunt or something for, for three or four days. Yeah. Talk about Izzy's fight first. Um, the negotiations took a while, but um, you're happy with everything, the way everything's going? Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, the business side of the sport is, is, a, is a side of the sport that um, a lot of people don't understand. It's done behind the, you know, it's done behind closed doors in the boardroom, so to speak. So, um, or, I mean, people just need to appreciate that um, at that level of fighting, it's not just about like getting an opponent and then training and just turning up to the fight. Like at that level, there's a whole lot that goes onto it behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, that took a while to work out the, the business side of things, but um, yeah, things are satisfactory now. So. Now we can push on with, you know, what, what, what we really want to see, what the fans want to see, what, what we're really good at, and that's the, the fighting side of things. Now you've got a, a big team fighting on uh, UFC here in Auckland, and the night before you've got Eternal. Um, Izzy's coming behind that. Is, is it hard for you to stop him peaking a little bit early because he's in this camp as well, or how, how do you manage that? Yeah, no, not at all, not at all. Like he started his really hard training a couple of weeks after they started, so he's not like completely running side by you know side by side with them. He's two weeks after them, and to be honest, it's going to help him tremendously to have you know all those guys fighting. It means that all those guys in the, are in the gym. It means the atmosphere is like uh, at the highest level it could be, and you've got uh, a bunch of fit guys that. Uh, you know, that are all over him. I've already seen, uh, yeah, I've already seen the boys uh, giving it to him. So it's gonna, it's gonna aid him if anything. Are you worried that there'll be a drop off after Auckland? Is, you know, for uh, help for him? No, nah, I mean, you know, like, and 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 our gym, everything is reciprocal. That's that's how it works. Uh, Israel has to be there for those guys, or those guys. You know, you can't expect those guys to be there for him. Everybody knows that, and that's why we've got a good culture in this gym of just because your fight's finished, that do not mean you're off on holiday in Hawaii for three weeks. Like, if there's someone fighting that helped you for your camp, then you have to come back straight away and you have to help them, and then you can go on your holiday to Hawaii. So all those guys that are fighting in Eternal UFC Auckland, They'll be straight back in the gym and sticking it out until Israel can, you know, f fly off and finish his fight, and it just keeps going. And that's like that. That's like that's the big thing. A lot of gyms don't have that. A lot of gyms don't have that. They might lie about it, but I guarantee you, a lot of these uh, big superstar gyms with all these big UFC fighters, they will have their fight, and I guarantee they will disappear. They won't be back to help out their amateurs and their other professionals that are fighting on the smaller shows, and they won't be back to help out their UFC teammates. So that's something uh, that's really uh, helped us succeed. As far as the boys for Auckland are concerned, you haven't run into any speed bumps or anything? Uh, nah, things are going like really well. I mean, we, we definitely need these last few weeks. Um, uh, the boys aren't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the boys aren't where I want them to be. Uh, a little bit of sharpness, a little bit of, uh, you know, like uh, a bit more drilling, a bit more familiarity with the game plan and the direction we're trying to take things. Uh, we need these weeks uh, to work on it. Um, they're going to be valuable. So uh, we're in that last half of the training camps. Um, this is where I expect the boys to really respond and pick it up. What, what's the uh, buzz around the gym with the, the ordinary members, not the fighting group, the, the rest of the people, or up the street when you're walking up the street? Uh, is, there a, is Auckland starting to gear up for it? Yeah, I mean, in the gym, I, I can talk about the gym. I never go out on the street, like I'm always in here, but um, 
and the gym is is fantastic. Like uh, all the members of the gym, uh, you know, like they're really interested in the fights. They're talking to the lads if they can, um, you know, get a chance to chat to them. Uh, the, the the buzz in the gym is tremendous. Um, and not only we've got the guys fighting on a channel in the UFC, but there's a, as you know, there's a whole lot of other local shows that are going on around, uh, start to heat up around late February, March, and I got a whole lot of amateurs and other professionals fighting on those. So, um, yeah, the the start of the year is starting like, you, you know, proper hectic, uh, more hectic than any other year I've ever remembered. But um, we expected this, so we can be a little bit prepared. Hey, thanks for talking to us, Eugene, and we really appreciate you taking the time because time is something that you're uh, running short of these days. Always got time for you, Tony, so uh, yeah, thanks very much.